Hi, I am Chris Bun, and I decided to make a, as my first video, the Rooting Transformer guy. This Transformer is on Ice Cream Sandwich, the latest version. And, well, I decided to make this guy since there's really no definitive, clear, and concise way to do it. So, for a Rooting Transformer, you need is a, the Transformer. You don't need the dock, but, no, you don't need it actually. And you also need the cable that the transformer came in, like the special bit pin cable and the USB end. And you also need a computer. My computer runs Windows 8, but it should be the same for all other major operating systems. Okay, so let's go to computer and we can start downloading the files, which should be right here. So now we will download the files that's required to read the transformer. So. As soon as you click this link, it should download. It will be the SUS Transformer TF01 root tool zip and just download it. And then you wait and the download should start. it's done you press show in folder and so that it's easier I would take it and I would drag it to the desktop so from here drag it to the desktop and now after you run the program you have to enable USB debugging mode on your tablet to do that turn your device on and unlock it Go under settings and click that settings button. Then go under developer options and ignore any warnings like these. So now go under the setting USB debugging, click on it and press OK. And then you're now good to go to use the tool. All you just do now is plug it into the bottom of the tablet and plug it into the computer one note that you must take into consideration is that you cannot connect the tablet into the dock while you root the tablet if you do that something will go horrendously wrong and I am not responsible for any damage that may occur so now you're going back to the computer and we can start from there so now we're ready to group, to start rooting. For this, use option 1. Press 1 and enter. And it m will show up. You must install the ASUS drivers with Patrick for prime time. Install the drivers in the Android folder located in the folder drivers. For more instructions, please visit second from the exe a thread. You do not need these drivers. As I later found out the hard way, so you just press enter. And you also must enable USB debugging, which you already did, so you're good to go. Press another key to enter. And then the program will run. And you just wait. <laughs> 